This presentation is designed to show uh, Hot Springs Village Rotary Club members how to log in to DACDB. I have on the screen uh, the Rotary Club of Hot Springs Village webpage. The address up here in the left hand corner is hsvrotary.org. <clears throat> to access the DACDB, which is the database where you log in to your um, into DACDB, on your on the Rotary Club of Hot Springs Village, there is a place, and when you hover over it, it turns red, and your little finger comes up, or your pointing comes up, or your whatever comes up, cursor comes up, so you can see it. And when you click on that, <clears throat> it takes you to the DACDB login. Uh, the username, in my case, I have my last, my first initial last name, and my password, which I use the um, my member number. Uh, which you can get off your uh, Rotarian magazine, uh, but there are several ways to log in, but I just log in using um, my first initial, last name, and my Rotary number. So I'm going to now click Log In, and it takes me to my district homepage. Now, uh, you see the, you see it comes up to our um, page here, what I want to do is go over to my club. You see up here in the top. I'm up here in my club. Now let me say this. <clears throat> Your uh, page will not have as much information as this page does. Uh, I have access to a few things uh, because of being the webmaster and being the uh, bulletin editor. I have access to a few more things than, than regular members do. But anyway, you want to see it. So I want to click on my club. This brings up our club members, and you can see the photographs of all the club members, and you can see a complete list of everybody who is in Hot Springs Village Rotary. Uh, this is good for you because this gives you um, email addresses, phone numbers, cell phone numbers, uh, and all this of our members. I occasionally get emails from members who say, uh, can you give me such and such members address? Well, you have it here. You have the email address here for these members. Uh, you can click on any member. I'll just click on my member. I'll click on me. Uh, and you'll notice <clears throat> that when you roll over, you can see my information. You'll notice on mine that there is a little pencil. Now, it's only on mine. Each one of you will have that little pencil beside your name and what that allows you to do when you click on it is to go in and edit your information so if you want to change your email address change your contact information change anything about you that you wish to change uh, you can do it right here uh, it has my uh, all the different information that you want so I'm going to go back now to my member. I don't need to edit it because it does not need to be edited. Um, so these are some of the different things that you can do uh, in your DACDB. If you need to change your email address, you can simply uh, you can go out here if you need to and change that email address. I think I can do that here. Or it, just, it may just bring up my email. I'm not sure whether you can change email addresses or not. Um, that may be something that the secretary can do. But anyway, I wanted to show you, the big thing I wanted to show you in this video was how you can get into uh, the DACDB from the HSV Rotary page. So I hope that was helpful to you.